Hey, you're Nathan on. wants to move to Quebec. That's what he told us all when he was sleeping. Hey, how's it going? This is Big Mike from MarlonCrawler.com. I'm up here at the end of the Deuce of Your to the This trip was sick. <laughs> Word of the day. Good morning. We are on Doozy Urshan Trail. This is the first day. Drove in last night. It was uh, super nice. Sun was setting. Of course, in true Marlin Crawler style. And partnered up with his dad, Marlin, to get a fellow Jeep owner some parts and um, try to give him a hand. Really nice to see the culture they've built to help people on the trail. So it was really quite nice to be a part of that. We got to drive, uh, do some rock crawling in true doozy form from the last time I was here nine years ago in the dark and uh, set up tents. I don't know if you know this, but this new style of uh, tent for overlanding uh, is really catching on and I think we're onto something here. It's called a ground tent. They're lightweight, they don't go on the roof and make your truck drive all weird. Uh, and they're pretty easy to set up. So, so far the RCLT HD kit is performing incredible. Uh, I got to rally uh, the road getting up here and uh, it handled really well. Really, I thought I was driving a uh, standard long travel kit, but this thing is obviously way brighter. On 40s, couldn't even tell. So far, 10 points. Actually, no. It's turned to 11. It's like, it's an 11. Um, so we'll see how it does. It's gonna get more hard. This is not very difficult here. It's still rock crawling, but you know, it's gonna get better. One, two, three, cuatro. Hey Mike. What are we doing? We're going rock crawling! Woo! <laughs> Mr. Green. I'm Alex. I live in Altadena, California. Uh, I have a 2003 Toyota 4Runner um, that has been slowly building since I got it in 2012. Top of Thompson, these rocks are huge. And this truck Fred's got here is a it's a weapon. I want to thank so much Fred for letting me drive your truck. It worked so well. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go take some video of these guys down here, but it's it's gnarly. <laughs> Oh, you cradle, sleeping on the net. 
Two sleeping bags, blanket, and a cowboy's pillow. Let's see some ears on the ground. So, yeah, being from Canada, used to being cold, but it was cold. This is classic Marlin treatment right here. Oh Mike, what a gem. You know, if you're lucky enough, you might get Marlin or Mike. I don't know which one's better. <laughs> to uh, wash your windshield for you. East Lake, from what I'm told. We're gonna check this out. Mike's got a pretty sweet memory of when he was a kid here with his Mickey Mouse uh, fishing pole. <laughs> um, maybe I'll let Mike tell that story. We've got, um, oh, there's Mike. Got some sweet tracks. Mm -hmm. And check this out. You can see some walking. Look at these trees out. This is ridiculous. So big. These are massive. Every time I come out here, it's like prehistoric. It reminds me of what it was like when dinosaurs were here. Is it prehistoric? Prehistoric, yeah. Prehistoric. Old. Yeah, this is cool. That's pretty wrong. All right, we're gonna. This cuts through some absolutely beautiful forests. That's amazing, amazing. All right, we're gonna venture on to the depths of this forest here. Thank you. 
Okay, we all know this guy. How's it going? What'd you do? Well, the slowest Tacoma sometimes isn't always the slowest. When you've got this engine, things like this happen. I don't really know how it happened. I don't know who put the rock there, <laughs> but it hit pretty hard. Even with what, five PSI? Hello. You can hide stuff in your tire, Mike. Yeah, I can put some goodies in there. It was a big hit. <laughs> All right, let's get to work. <laughs> big tires, big hits. <laughs> That's why 37s are the way to go. <laughs> I'll edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> here you're gonna drop off like a cliff but miraculously you're gonna take this right hander and uh, looks no problem in the daylight but looks like problem in the middle of the night <laughs> all right so yeah, there's the reaction yes <laughs> this looks fun uh, I imagine behind the wheel you can't really see much. No, and then in the middle of the night, you look off there and you're like, are you, what, what? <laughs> That's a cliff. <laughs> Trucks are looking really good today, look at that. Okay, we finished uh, DZ Airstream Trail. Everyone did awesome. Alex, you did fantastic. So, so good. Very impressed. So uh, this guy, he, mediocre. So <laughs> uh, okay, one word. How would you encapsulate it, 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 this whole trip? It was an experience. It wasn't a trail. It was an experience. Full on experience. Yeah. It was like, awesome. phenomenal. Phenomenal. <laughs> and cold. <laughs> yeah. Very cold. Yeah, it's like I didn't leave Canada. Uh, Sick. Okay, so, sick. <laughs> so sick. That was almost my word. That uh, sunset is so sick right now. Okay, would you guys do it again? Hell yeah. I hope to every year. Yeah. Will you do it again, Nate? Nah, yeah. Oh, yeah totally. <laughs> Absolutely. Next year, bring your forerunner. Okay, on it's 40s. happening. Bring your forerunner. On 40s. On 40s. You need to build With it. With RCLTHD. Just, just like this green machine here. Can't see it. But yes. That's right. All right, guys. Thanks so much for the sweet trip. Awesome. Cool. You look off there and you're like, are you, what, what? <laughs> hey Mike, what you doing? Nature. <laughs> nice, those rocks look thirsty. Yeah, yeah, let's see that six pack. Six pack of dry towels. I got a whole case. Oh, look at that. Yeah, getting ready in the morning. It's cold. <laughs> 
Check how close this is. What? That's a big tree. Everyone's touched it, but we're not. Dude, this is great, man. I can't believe we're making curry rice in the mountains. <sighs> this is the life.